Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Could be kind of interesting. Yuragi, they'll get a Slark. Much more of a safer kind of pick here. A toss back on Solo. Should secure them a kill here. Rubik gladly gives his life. Ooh, and I just get a blast in two seconds. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. Take him down with a buckshot. So you've got to be on your toes as hell raises. Also, one interesting thing is Techies didn't go for blast off. Oh, never mind. The toss again. They've caught out Yuragi. Another lift from Solo. And the pound's actually latching onto Tiny, meaning nice the cookie's cookie. there. Jab secures it. Two kills in that top lane, going very well for Talon. Very well, their heroes are super slow. These heroes can't really move easily. First rotation from Makoto, should yeah. be an easy one. Here comes the puck, just sliding into the bottom lane. Kill off the pesky techies. Hunter S, it looks like he's attempting to die to the Ogres, but he's disarmed them and dies nonetheless. Bought a little bit of time. Lina did also rotate, Makoto gets the last hit. I think in this situation... It into the nether realm. And Kiyotaka. They saw Getting this themselves move. a kill. Yeah. Top lane, Yurangi trying to play onto jabs. Playing a bit more aggressive. He hit that level 6, so that's going to be extra region coming out for Slark. Exactly what he needed. Solo to stay awake. And coil, Another snaps. coil. On the Magnus and the Laguna Blade. Ah, that was required to kill him off. OD's come down here to try and play with Alina in the tree. Let's see if Antares and the TP from Solo can make this work out, because 23 is pretty speedy. Gets up the Fari Soul stacks, stuns up the OD for now. And looks to get away from them. Should be fast enough. And Yuragi's died up top. But another Astral Imprisonment. The OD's caught out the Lina. And there's no one here to back up. 23 should get slammed down by the hammer of the OD. No Yuragi did. Oh, just him trying to hold out on top. Did use a dog pack. So the toss and the kisses landing onto Slark. Not enough to finish him off. While Miero is aiming for an RP. He pops the mech. Heals himself. Looks for it. But he misses the face shift dodge. Oh, that was glorious for Makoto. And now they turn onto Yuragi. He doesn't have Shadow Dance. Antares with a blast off. Not going to land onto too many. Silence on two. They do have that imprisonment. Catching the puck and the blast landing the on mech. the Q. But he comes the mech. Q will blast them down. Big tiny combo. And the chase is on for Antares Techies. Dive under the tier one, a defense gone seriously wrong from hell. Vision up for themselves. Lane ward up at top, Rune ward down towards the bottom. Rune spot and Solo walks back into that battle spot. for way too long. Two man overgrowth is there, the mech from Magnus keeping Solo alive, but then blasted by Laguna Blade while jabs on the right hand side, aiming techies. They do astral up one, but the toss around means that Hellraiser can no longer clean up. fight. In we go, a double for Makoto. Is he going to join forward? Is he going to go aggressive on Kiyotaka? He was thinking about it. Looking for that continuation of the team fight. But another fight where Hellraiser's lose four to match them every step of the way. But this kind of sneaky move that they're looking to play into the top lane might work out for them. Makoto has TP'd up there, separated from the rest of his squad. And Antares looking for him, blast off. Mikoto doesn't get the dodge. And plenty of damage coming his way, but yeah, there we go. Sanus Eclipse straight onto the back of the puck's head and a big kill to take. Big silence from Techies. Uh, Kiyotaka got the last hit. And they're going to find another one with the Blink Dagger. Keep that. Keep that ball rolling. The Steamroller's here. Yurangi going to get some stacks up now. Oli. Holding hands up in that top lane, making sure it's not pushed out across the river. And a jump on Q in the mid. Tiny, reasonably tanky, but with the OD and Techies here, they will blow him up with our mines. But a three man coil. I Lina Q. Gonna be popping that BKB to output the damage. Kills the Techies off, and the kisses are landing. OD in a bit of trouble. Rubik will fall on a double there as the jump in from Q. Makoto finds the triple, dodges the skewer. Miero's it's out there. It's time to go for Roche. They Roche just cleaned up. And uh, you talked about it. Uh, these heroes, like position fours and five, having buybacks uh, really want to get involved in. I do have all those ultis available and a skewer back on the tree. That's going to catch out Oli. Quick kill there and no buyback for 30. Roshan a half health. This could be a big comeback. Yuragi is pinging it out. Less than half HP with Empower. He's going to start to do it slowly, but the rest of the team ready to go. Mikoto, They've got coil, coil available. In a second, the stun onto the slot. Life Striker it connects to the pool. <laughs> if he gets coiled, he's not going to be able to use it. Well, there he is. Decent RP. And they do get in with a blast off. Trying to get a kill at least here. The Sandy's Eclipse is dropped. Oh, that's plenty to kill off Jabs in 23. Makoto, he's going to get Telekinesis back up in towards Miero and Antares. Hellraiser's actually hold the fight. Roshan's still alive, Lina dead. Ah, oh, the jump back in from Q though. Makoto, he can do a lot more work now. 
They will kill Q. And Makoto can try and clean up. at Solo. He can't keep chasing, though. Wants to just chill out a little bit. Move back towards Oli. Find the Rubik instead of Chainman. Kiyotaka now working on the Aghanim Sap. Oh, oh, can he get a solo a kill? Yes, he can. Oh, my God. That's a big one. And Thoris, 700 gold. These techies players. But while all this additional e-gamers not clicking it to get the damage. Wait, where, where's my neutral hotkey again? <laughs> what button am I pressing? No, for some reason, it just doesn't look clickable. It's like Tumblr's toy is clickable, for sure. You yeah. look at it and you're like, yes, I'm going to tumble. And with a dagger. A little bit weird. Up. Well, there's Talent. Moving into mid, still grouping up as four, knowing they've got that global protection from the Treant. They'll toss back the Magnus, not quite getting the combo perfectly executed this time, but still, a kill is a kill. Immediate snap TP top. Oh, Solo. Oh, Solo. He's in danger again. Yeah, they're cutting across, sweeping through that top jungle. And the Rod of Atos, Avalanche toss as well. Catching out the techies just above the solo Rubik. The cookie from Jams looking to chain disable techies up. Both supports about to fall. Blast off there to the right hand side, but vision range. They have three B four BKBs queued up. Solo definitely not buying a BKB oh, sorry? this game. <laughs> solo has BKB queued, does no, he? No, no, no. The other four have <laughs> BKB queued up. Uh, I mean, uh, considering that he died eight times, he still does have a four staff, which is not too bad. Yeah, reasonably impressive. Jabs. Pounced on, Q's nearby, but it looks like the Snapfire is about to die. Oh, pops the Grease back to half HP. And now the Gleipnir in as well. Hunter S trying to turn this, but the kisses come. The projectiles launched, Artillery Strike kills off Miero. Yurangi dipping southwards, and Hunter S looks like he's hidden and protected by the tree line. While in the mid lane, Kiyotaka gets the kill Mikoto's on Jabs. still not done, does have a coil available. They've got the... Right, no catch. And there we go, onto Kiyotaka. Yes, you killed our offlaner, but we killed three of you. Talon is so that they get BKBs. Yeah. Things are going to get uh, much, much easier for them, if they can farm it. Yeah, because we know the Hellraisers, they can execute, like they're doing now onto the tiny mid. The trouble being, 23 was too close, and it will be able to take out Miero before the techies even dies, uh, before the tiny even dies. And Q jumping back in, nearly to the mines. Solo, overgrowth, rooted up by Ollie, cleared out by 23. Another double kill. And Rubik Ooh. with a buyback. Didi on Slark. Wants to fight Didi Slark, that's why. Blast down Q, but the Techies is gone. And 23 with the VKB up with a triple kill. Out of mana now, though. Has a four staff to the low ground and repositions himself nicely. Yuragi still giving chase, though. Slark wants in, but I don't know for how long. Death Drought is there. Saves him from the coil. Oh, they didn't get much out of these buybacks. Uh, two supports using a buyback. They try to take a and fight. Koto, he's back in. Jabs. Gonna try scatter blast and cookie kill off so low and a dieback there for him. 23 can now unload the damage. Oh, we can six streak for Alina. Well, Antares and Yuragi tail between legs. Thinking about where they're gonna hide next. No way to re No Ian this this time around. It's gonna reset in less than two minutes. Both. Teams using a scan. They caught a glimpse of them inside the Roche pit, but should know something is up. Because it was there for only a oh, second. Oh, the catch with one. the coil. The Glutnir is there, and the OD shredded. Techies rooted, and Jabs is going to make sure. Covering fire to blow him up. Fizzles out and dies off. And a godlike Lena, another double kill. Every fight, it feels like she's getting two, three, four kills. 23 Savage having a spectacular game. 15, 2, and 13. Yep. And all this set up by this Parkinson camp. And this is where... These are getting close. Hello. Miero. TP cancelled. Rooted up and the swarm is arriving. He'll skewer across the tree and try and make a bit of a gap between himself and the rest of Talon. But Ollie will overgrowth him and allow them to filter in and kill off the mag. Dead for 50 with no buyback. That's a tier 2 tower right there. How many roots do you want? Yes. You have a Glyph here, <laughs> you have Trian Protector with the Shard, even popping the ulti there. Kind of a nightmare for Magnus to play into that pre BKB. Right. So, second BKB done now on Hellraisers. OD just finished off his. Magnus really far away. Techies needs to farm another creep wave and then he'll wow. have it. It, it, is, it is relentless. No matter where you are on the map, you're getting hounded by Talon Heroes. Solo, he's gonna get Avalanche tossed. And this kissed, is what I talked about. Kissed into Tiny the ground. initiates Snapfire immediately using Mortimer's Kisses. It's the trust. So still left, all, less than... 
And Jab's going to absolutely show himself there with the Scatter Blast. Uh, still a difficult task in some regards, pushing high ground against Magnus, OD, Tankies. Like but look at saying, the mines. The this, mines. Is, this is it, ha! Garrett. This is how you come back. You have <gasps> Telekinesis and you have Skewer. Into the demilitarized zone. Miero skewering the Tiny. Does oh, get anti combo. Tiny is, gonna, is about to die to the mines though, right? Shockwave back in. The Lena comes forward. The toss back. They're going to kill him off as the overgrowth allows them to shred the techies and the Rubik. Kisses forcing BKBs. Yuragi and Kiyotaka needed to. And jabs. He can't save the Treant. 23 getting first hit, bash the RP there. The Aegis is going to run out. Aegis soon to run out. One second remaining, but 23 gets down to the low ground. Jabs Makoto onto Kiyotaka now. Take out the OD and no buybacks from Hellraisers. They have another skewer and the horn toss available. Got to be careful. There's still plenty of money. HR are coming. Makoto has Eon Disc back up. He's going to scout Yuragi. Face shift and blink is ready. So it looks like Makoto should be okay to play aggressively, in fact, on the OD. Oh, the side the comes off. in, they got the Hex, the kill is there. Buyback Kiyotaka is available. Dead. 70 seconds on the sideline, but you're right, does have buyback. Solo being focused. Destroyed by the stuns of Lina and Tiny, while Miero's caught <laughs> up and taken down by Jabs. Man, 23 tried to TP on a Tier 1 tower just to be closer to a fight, because they still have Tier 1 tower in the mid lane, full HP. 40 minutes in. Uh, With no mag, I like Magnus. It'll be the former rather than the latter. And they didn't use any of their ultis again. Sands Eclipse, RP ready. Techies jumps in, but the immediate side gets the Life Striker right in onto Antares. Makoto pounced upon, but and they've got the ways to get him out of there. The Yuragi trying to save him there with that Trout. Not going to be enough. Oh, Tiny got nope. into the, the mines. There's a field of them, but Solo, long range hits from 23, takes down the Rubik and forces an early buyback from him. So melee racks claimed up, gem traded. HR holding on for dear life. They lost the gem, Tiny was the one holding the gem. I think they need to give gem to somebody else, cause, but if he dives into tier four towers, he's, uh, <laughs> he's definitely dead. Does have buyback available. For Hellraisers, they need to make something happen right now. This is a big one. Roshan respawned with Aghanim. Makoto straight into the back lines, trying to force it here. Jabs aiming for the OD and the Rubik, killing him off, and Miero's gone. No RP, has to buy back now, and the OD in trouble. He's into Astral, he's got the shard, but look at Yuragi, destroyed! Jabs just and 23 just punch him into the ground. And they've all got buybacks, and the RP on the puck might secure them a kill. No damage. Makoto dragged under the tier three towers, under the tier fours now, and jumps away. Phase shift and Blink is ready. Away we go, no catch from HR. Trying to blast off into the puck, not gonna work out. And with a tiny arriving, Miero's in trouble. Slark pounces in, but the three man overgrowth. Yuragi's gonna dog packed it off. HR reset and they blow up Makoto. The big sanity's eclipse. He does have buyback. Lena was and tiny. the Magnus. He's getting in. Gobbled up and spat forward. Straight on to the Slark. Needs the full staff away. The OD comes back in. The side of the voice is there. Kiyotaki in trouble. Laguna Blade from 23. Aiming Yuragi. Focusing multiple heroes as they take down Antares. This OD. Oh, it's a dangerous time. The double Astral into BKB Blink. Maybe can get away, but the timing's not there. Oh, no. He, he tossed the mid there. cookie. I thought they had the cookie, but Kiyotak is still going to get coiled and cleaned up by 23. We'll still get a kill, and uh, Mikoto used the buyback there, so they need to try to end this game. They're no... Well, trying it up to high ground, the two-man skewer with the horn toss. They've got BKBs up, though, and 23 can stand his ground. Jabs, dropping lower, but Cookie's away from the Slark now. Gets himself down to the low tossed. ground, tossed back in, Greaves up. Well, 23's going deep. In the base, Puck and Lena going wild. They need one more hit. One more touch will kill off Kiyotaka. Dead for a hundred seconds. Mikoto still not that trouble as well. Neither is 23. Called. What a dominating game from Talon. 56 to 19. 42k lead. It was a bit of a. I, I think this one goes to draft the Hellraisers. They had a couple of these weird. Very OP heroes, but HR has a lineup that can deal with the OP heroes. Nice. A colorful frog venom poison on their arrows. Well, they do toss back solo. There's the play on the maiden. Jabs looking for that final bit of damage. We'll get it and secure the first blood. Well, 23 
He's tied down bottom to the... Moving to secure the water runes. Mikoto might be able to get another one. Does have a point in Flame Break. Yotaka. Yeah. I mean, Mikoto dropping Holding very low. Sticky Napalm stacked up on the DP, and he goes straight for the kill. Makoto takes him out in, in the 1v1. I mean, DP in that natural lane feels pretty good with the Spirit Siphon, because Bat can't dive you onto tower, but once you go... So Flame Break had already a couple of sticking up palm charges. Oli now needs to be a bit more caref careful. Triant running him down with two points in Iron Shell. Up to us. Way too deep. Yeah, far too deep. Losing a lot of his HP while Q and Jabs having a poke at Yuragi top. Back down to bot, we'll see the Treant get chipped away out here. He kind of wants to die at this point. Nothing left for him to give, so wanting that reset back to Fountain. Oli providing vision in the trees with that spirit. He's now level 3, so he can also punch back. A net up top on Jabs. Yuragi and Solo. Get on top of the Nature's Prophet, as in the mid lane, Lasso there on Kiyotaka, needing Solo's rotation to help the Death Prophet. Five stacks of Napalm, though. I see if Makoto can keep on going with a Frostbite holding him back. It looks like that should be the... the, the oh, no, he's going for it! Doesn't get the finishing blow, and but the there's the damage! Makoto takes down the Death Prophet again, twice in a row! Even had a Flame Break available. Batrider will cause a lot of Batrider seven minutes into the game. Well, there's the XO and the dive. Oli frostbitten, but he's going to get a stomp off here before he falls, but a lot of damage from Kiyotaka secures it while Makoto's in. Does lasso him up and the two-man avalanche toss under the tier one tower, going to blow them up. Kiyotaka falling in the sprout. Makoto's dominating and Hellraiser's falling short. Every step has multiple hurdles and talent. Securing the tower defense, getting big kills and looking real smooth here in game two. So they're still going to be able to defend. Also for Hellraisers, they are the ones that have Treant Protector, and they lost two towers already. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, and they can't hold on to those areas of the map. Now Q saw them coming bot, while well, 23 gets dived in mid. That help down bottom comes in with the Avalanche Toss, and Q looking for Miero as Makoto over the top of the Darks here. Flame breaks him back. He slowed down, and they get the kill. Okay, they lose 23 Savage, but Talon have three carries in this game. You lose one, we've got two more. A double for Q, make that another kill. They've got four carries with his tiny popping off. <laughs> I don't mind the Q's getting the kills. We saw him get for more than a minute. Yeah, I mean, now they're making the play down bottom. They let Tower fall, and they wait for Stranglers. Hellraiser's leaving Miero stranded, and Antares might be in a spot of bother himself, you know. Gets dived upon, Makoto continuing the streak. Kiyotaka. This is a big kill. Oh, it's a huge one to take down the bat. Kiyotaka's there. Plenty of money lining his pockets now. EXO still up and running. They're not done. They want to maybe get something out. But the amount of control from Talon, these two supports, having so much control, having so much stun, jabs. He's like, I don't care. I'll be on the other side of the map. Yeah. I'm just going to continue farming, have that Maelstrom sniper also. These OBS wards. He is under a sentry there. Need to he be careful. Up the Q. Not quite getting the combo with the Earth Splitter as they would have intended. And up towards top, Jabs getting gone on. Yurangi will be there with the ensnare. Catching out Jabs, Sprouts himself, can't TP. He's stuck and killed. Big moves from HR to take down these core heroes of talent. Stayed there for a way too long. He's been, as you said, like he's drawing on a minute in the triangles from time to time. Sniper also gets there. Antares. Guarding the arrow, Q tumbles forward, gets the avalanche and the toss back for the overgrowth. Oh, illusion rune, vacuum cancelled, lasso's there, kills the dogs here. K.O. Taka and Yuragi, they want the tiny. Looking to kill off Q with a spirit siphon, and Hellraisers have brought five heroes down to that bottom lane, expecting a full-on brawl. Mikoto immediately points out, the rest of you guys need to push out the mid lane. Top also needs to be pushed out, so jabs one more time, goes to that top lane. Smooth smoke in here from El Razors. It's a farm game. Talon, they don't care too much about the maybe dying on one support. They're catching Makoto. The Frostbite. It connects and Kiyotaka with the damage. They've killed the bat again. 23, his HP just being removed. The freezing field solo gets the kill. Sniper down, the Earth Splinter comes. Nature's Prophet falls as well. A double kill for Kiyotaka, but Q's back in Good the solo. Song. Stop them. He's fine now. Kiyotaka gets away with the help of the living armor, but he doesn't have TP. What a freezing field from Solo. Also this... Uh... Yes. He's in his and hiding. They get on the DP though. Q makes the jump and finds the catch. Kiyotaka destroyed by jabs. It's time to go for Roche. 
40 seconds without Dead Prophet. Uh, try to make something happen. Let's see if they decide to go for it. They didn't use anything big, but Talon, they have different thinking. They might even want to get another one. Yeah. Here comes Jabs. Coming in from the back, the TP onto Miero. Pops his Grieve, the toss back there. The Naga Siren being focused and controlled. The lasso with the damage looks good for Yuragi. He's not going to get out of there alive. Solo with a huge freezing field of the BKB from Makoto. Keeps him safe and sound. Does get rooted up for now, but Solo getting peeped out by the Sniper will take down Hellraisers. It's going to be a full team wipe. Now, and Talon, they get the wipe. That Prophet was dead for... That it's range the creep. And Q still lurking around in mid. Invis Mikoto finds Miero yet again. They've got Avalanche Toss to secure this kill. He gets off the Greaves, buys some time. The vacuum into the wall as well. And surges away. Now they've got a song. Oh, Solo, let's see what you've got. Let's let it go with the freezing field. He's waiting for it. Buying time, delaying the BKB. Makoto just dies the physical damage of the Naga Siren. It's but he's going to get down into the river and up the staircase. Jabs will be here to bodyguard and help them retreat too. It was close. He knew that this ulti from Triant is going to come out. This avalanche toss combo lasts long enough. So Batrider, a bit late. Yuragi? That's the real Yuragi. Just walking up onto Jabs. Half HP Prophet dragged back with a vacuum into the wall. The song and the kill. Yuragi baiting them and finding the bat as well. Oh, this is trouble for Talon now. Mikota going to firefly off to the left. They can't connect on anybody. What a way to initiate. Run in as Naga Siren. I'm an That's illusion. It. <laughs> he did have ages for another 45 seconds. So wants to die. And he's also super tanky with that heart. With He's going all out position one carry build. There isn't that much burst damage on Hellraisers. So with Satanics, Kiyotaka initiating Catches with the Makoto. Yule Scepter. Sans and the Snare trying to force the BKB. Important here. Makoto holds on for as long as he can as Q jumps in. Avatos and Kiyotaka half health. Spirit siphoning Another back a force. little bit of that. Multiple four staffs and Ogre Seal totems flopping around in the team fight while Makoto is back in. They find the tree and blow him up, but he's got buyback. Snap uses it while the song. BKBs are still available. The They've got them dragged back in. Where's the damage follow through? They don't have it. The toss back around. Doxy is about to die and Kiyotaka might follow him. Oh no, Hellraisers, what have you done? Uh, it's a disaster for Hellraisers. They even used the buyback on Antares. So this is going to be a free Roche. They walked into the pit, thought they had it. I like how Mikoto is like, I don't care. This Trin Protector has had my number throughout the game, uh, forcing me to do stuff that I don't want to do. Pop a BKB and run away. So you have a double BKB, and they're also going into Satanic next. So that's oh. going to be very, very difficult. Jax has found one. It's Yuragi. No song for 10. This is huge if they can kill him off. The sniper's coming to try and peep him down. Flame breaks there, push him around, slow him with the tree throw. They need this surge to get Yuragi out of here, but they've got the lasso. Don't care about Lotus Orb. Just push the damage forward, kill the Naga. She's dead for a minute. She's tanky, but lacking damage, and they caught Darks here. Jabs TP's forward and finds a bonus kill. Two big ones for Talon. <laughs> Lotus Orb and Vision now lacking for HR. One Observer Ward out on the map for Talon in that enemy triangle and another one up in the top jungle as DP moves forward onto 23. Good freezing field from Solo and the vacuum back will kill him off. That's one death. Can they get another kill on the side? Let's have a grenade. In. Avalanche toss, Solo's down. 23 will stand his ground. Kiyotaka from the high ground atop the staircase. His BKB and runs into them. But Jabs is there. 23 with a BKB on the run as well. Kiyotaka cannot find him. He's just jumping around. Away over the cliffs, out of the Roche pit. There's so much escaping. guiding. They do find jabs. Finally, they managed to bring him down. Kiyotaka, he's still not done. Does have a Yule Scepter. Q will get caught out. Hellraiser have spent so much to find this fight, but another shield totem gets him out of there. Mikoto was thinking about maybe getting in. He'll probably make a swap. Oh, Midas. Yes. Finally, 35 minutes. Recovery Midas. Oh, the BKB needed, but he jumps with the lasso. Makoto finds the grab into the Earth Splitter, but a speedy Death Prophet trying to create a bit of gap here between him and Talon. Another scythe. This time on the bat with an overgrowth on top. Antares destroyed by the sniper, though, and jabs. He clears up another one. HR yeah, don't get more. a single kill. Solo attempting the TP home, but they've got an avalanche and a toss there as well. This time around, Talon, much better positioning. Sniper uncontested, and also, he, they found 
But it's only the illusions. Q in Q. trouble now. But in comes Sniper. And HR, okay, they're gonna have to song this. Wait, uh, whoa, hey, Kiyotaka. Pops Exo, still might die. No BKB, no Yules. Getting caught out on the Sprout. Kiyotaka's dead and used Exo. It's a disaster for Hellraisers. Can they close the gap? Can they find another one? No lasso for another 10 seconds. Kiyotaka has been out of position so many times this game. It feels like he thinks he's much more than Waker. Oh, that's nice, yeah. yeah. Save yourself, save your teammates. Incredibly expensive item, but a lot of utility in it. Tiny getting caught mid. Oh, that Riptide. So much damage there from Yuragi. Like you say, he's trying to draw this game out. Doesn't have, a, have much room for scaling herself. And there's a few items you can buy in here with the Axe and the Shard, but it moved to high ground. Kiyotaka straight up onto Jab. BKB's galore. Earth Splitter's out. Hellraiser's walked straight into a danger zone. And Naga Siren getting destroyed! Sniper 23 uncontested. with a double kill, just stands there and takes them all out. Makoto dominating and Hellraiser's in all sorts of trouble now. Makoto's not stopping. Surge available. They're Feed gonna the lose trees. four. <laughs> and Roshan. Try and trade some hits with those Naga illusions. And Tiny waiting by the trees. Also has the Sprout to help him out as Batrider jumps in. The Lotus Orb Lasso reflects it. They back. need to force him. Makoto's nearly dead. The four step to the low ground. He survives. Oh! Oh, that was close. And back in we go with the Sniper and the Prophet. Killing off Antares. The song will slow things down. And a Yule's there from the DP keeps her off the ground. Dangerous times for HR. They lose a hero and the tree has no buyback. They gave him back the refresher shard, so he's gonna use it. 6v4, jump in with that initiation by Makoto and Naga Siren is being put alive. Yuragi has buyback, but another lasso there. Makoto finds a bonus kill. Double buyback, uh, they're going all in. 6v4. If they manage to kill him here, that's game. The toss back on Yuragi and Talon have done it. Down goes the Naga Siren. Your only hope is Hellraisers. She gets tossed on top of E.T., loses her armor. It just becomes like a normal hero, not tanky at all. GG's cool. Talon have done it. We'll call it 2-0 for Talon, keeping the sea dream alive. They absolutely do. Moving forward into that lower bracket, round two. How well done.